I have an audience. Welcome back to another video, guys. Today we have lots of plans because last episode we started our mega base. And now to continue it, we are going to need to build farms and a fair few farms, which means today's episode we are getting all the farms. Now we're going to start right off the bat over at our one farm that we have, which is our mob farm. Now this works good enough for now, so we're going to leave it, but we need to deal with our rocket problem. So we're going to have to improve our sugarcane farm because it is not cutting it. Now, this may be the smallest sugarcane farm you've ever seen, but you know what? It's a start and I'll probably make it bigger in the future. But uh, this is not the actual interesting part of this. That didn't make any sense. So now that we have the sugarcane farm up there, we are going to move to a auto crafting system for the rockets because I don't want to craft my own rocket. I found this design by Rexstone on YouTube. His channel will be linked in the description. And uh, yeah, so I'm going to go ahead. I'm, it's not my design, so I'm not going to explain to you guys how it works. You can go check out his tutorial if you want to. But I am going to build it in this little, little hole here. And just like that, we have the whole system installed. So back here is the actual crafter, which is just filling up at the moment. And then we've got just all the extra storage because this does produce more than just gunpowder but i'm gonna afk this and see how much stuff we can actually get one eternity later so i just got back from my afk session and i don't know how long it's been but uh i managed to have a whole good night's sleep so let's go check out and see what we have if i'm sounding groggy it's probably because it's literally the first thing in the morning it's been all night so i kind of expect it to just be overflowing no it, it's not. I mean, gunpowder is overflowing a little bit, but we got rockets, which means this thing's working. We just need more sugarcane. And if I'm being honest, considering we only have three stacks, well, two and a half stacks of leftover or extra gunpowder, I'm going to say that we only really need that to go like twice as fast. We do have a mob in there. Might have to fix that. We have we have a, a lot of a lot of mobs in here. But yeah, we're, we're going to double this and uh, it works. We got more things to get done this episode. Let's head on over the storage system where we can get things sorted. <clears throat> uh, someone sent me a sign. OB. Uh. Ah, there's there's more stuff from your best friend. A sort. OK. Hmm. I have no idea why he sent me this stuff, but like, I guess I'll take it. I need the iron for sure. So, uh, thank you, a sword. Okay, so I've taken a short intermission to uh, run over here to Gracie's base. So I'm just going to start by saying Gracie's been doing a great, great job on the server, building lots of things. Her base is looking real cool. I'm going to play a game, which uh, the other guy and I did a while ago. I can't remember if it was recorded or on stream or what, but uh, I'm just going to go put a sign that says subbed overlord somewhere and hopefully she spots it. Well, we got caught already. Hello? Hello? Hi, I just came to say hi. Well, hello. I, I like your bait. A lot of improvements have been made since I was last year. Well, have you have you uh, visited the wonderful Ender Ender? I haven't even been to the stronghold yet, so. Ah, uh, uh, I see. Do you have a portal on the nether roof? No. That would be your issue. Uh, yeah. Okay. Hmm. Anyways, it is looking good. I'm really Thank impressed. Thank you. Oh. You're not slick. I am so slick. Well... Now that we've completed the rocket farm, I guess it's time to move on to the next item on the list, which is obviously the iron farm. Duh. I've gone ahead and gathered a bunch of the resources that I think I'll need for this very simple iron farm. And I just need to pick a spot, which I think right here will do the trick. So let's get building.
And just like that, we got an iron farm. Now this guy should be able to get us more than enough iron for what we need. We basically just need stuff for hoppers and whatnot. And if we're being honest, if we need more, we can just buy some off the other guys on the server. Anyways, that is one farm completed. Back to the office. Welcome back to the game show where we play. Guess what we'll do next. Can you guess what we're going to do next? That's wrong. We're doing the cobblestone farm. So for the cobblestone farm, I've decided we're going to build it over here, right beside our iron farm and mob farm slash rocket factory. And uh, I'm going to use a design I've used quite a few times in previous worlds. It's, it's getting to be an old design, I guess. Maybe not. I don't, I don't know. Anyway, we are. I've got all the resources for it, so we are going to slap it down right here. It's not the biggest cobblestone farm, but it will work for what we need. Now that we've completed this cobblestone farm, that is another item off our list. And uh, I AFK down here for a little bit. We may have an issue. We literally filled up every single chest here. Not joking you, it was less than two hours. Like maybe one hour. We're going to have to solve this because we, we don't want a backlog. So I'm going to need to add a disposal system at the end here. Just so that we don't lag out the server on accident. But we're also going to check out the iron farm. See how that's going. Much, much, much slower. That's fine. It, we're getting iron. It may be the slowest iron farm in the world, but you know. Sir, sir, you're, you're live. Sorry about that. Welcome back to the show where we're going to give you the quick weather. Clearly, as you can see from my green screen here, uh, it is cloudy with a chance of tree farming. So, uh, yeah, get, get your axes out and let's get started. This tree farm was designed by Oxalt Gen MC, and I used a tutorial by Shulkercraft. I decided to go with an older design because I don't care too much about the Netherwoods, and I think it's fun to build a variation of farms rather than the same tree farm every single time I build a tree farm. We'll probably build a bigger one in the future, but I imagine we're going to redo and build bigger farms of every farm I build in the first few episodes. Well, just like that, we've got all the farms that we needed to get done this episode done. I did uh, mess around with the iron farm to make it more effective. Basically, what was happening is the bounding boxes of where the villagers see the iron golems was mixing in the middle. So then this guy would spawn one and then this guy wouldn't spawn one. So I, I just figured out where their bounding boxes overlap and then made it so that they each don't do that anymore. So. Anyway, it, it, the iron farm is working better now. We got one more thing we need to get done before we finish off this episode, and that is take these rockets that we got being made down there and turn them into some profit. I want to start selling rockets because I feel other people on the server are going to need rockets. And that means it's shop building time. Well, here we are back at spawn. And I believe right over this hill right here is where we're doing the shopping district this season. Uh, looks like we have a couple of shops here. I believe they are scams. So first things first, we are going to need a launch pad. And I think the launch pad is probably best made out of iron and stone. So I've sort of worked out a base for this. And I think this is simple enough, but it looks good because I don't want it to take away from the build but you know I don't know we'll, we'll see when the whole build is in there I think I'm just gonna build it up and we'll see what it looks like
Okay, what are we looking like? Oh, it's actually looking pretty good. Question is, does it have a button top? Yeah, I think so. Okay, so we gotta flood this thing. I almost liked it with the lighter color, but we wouldn't be able to have the overhangs with the lighter color, so it'll have to do. Now we need the fins. I don't know how these wings go exactly, but... Like that, maybe? Hmm, that looks good. Now we just need the upper fins, and the upper fins are smaller. They probably are more like... That's feeling pretty starshipy. Now, I'm just realizing now, I think I wanted this to actually go sideways. I think it's going to look better sideways, because I'm also going to have some scaffolding to allow you to get up the side, like a thing. So, yeah, we're going to have to flip this around. There we go. That's rotated around now. And now we have to add the front window, which goes about right there. And for that, I've been debating whether we use dark glass or just black concrete. Well, if I'm being honest, I don't know when I paused my my recording, so I don't know what I'm cutting from, but we've gone ahead and added in some stuff onto this sidebar. I think it's looking good. I think it's kind of funny as a contrast of like old scaffolding with brand new rocket ship, but you know, I'm limited by my building capabilities. So there is our, our scaffolding, which I think, if I'm being honest, I don't like. It just doesn't fit with the theme but i don't know how to fix it so it's it's gonna stay like that if you have any suggestions on how i could improve that put them down in the comments and maybe i will adjust this in the future but i needed it functionally and functionally it works one diamond per stack and i will stock these as best i can with the rockets anyways that is going to do it for today's episode thank you everyone who made it this far in the video if you did enjoy why not consider hitting the like and or subscribe button and uh, I'll see you in the next one.